Most people think you guys need expensive 3D software to make cinematic videos, but with AI, you can create stunning 3D documentaries within seconds. In this video, I'll show you guys exactly how to prompt, generate, and refine these animated map sequences so you guys could go viral just like these creators who have already done it. So the first things first, you guys will want to go to Flow by Google and click on Create with Flow. Don't worry, it's completely free to use. You guys will get some free credits to play around with. Then sign up using your email. And once you're in, click on create new project. Now just copy and paste this prompt. I will have it linked in the description down below. This prompt describes a photorealistic transition from a map to a city. In this example, we're using New York. Then press enter and give it a couple moments and you guys will get something that looks like this, which is pretty awesome. I love the seagulls flying around. That's something that I didn't even put in the prompt, but it looks super cool. But we could definitely make it even better. Take that prompt and paste it into ChatGPT, then ask it to add a push in camera angle on the map and make the camera orbit around the city. So you guys will basically be using ChatGPT to refine and improve your prompt. Once it's updated, just copy and paste it back into Flow and generate the new version. You also want to make sure you generate one output per prompt. That way you guys could save on credits and make sure you're using VO.1 fast. Now take a look at this. This is really cool. You could still see the people standing on the map, but overall this looks awesome. I really dig it, but I'm just not totally sold on the camera movements yet. But this is definitely up there and I'm going to save this one. But before we continue, if you guys are serious about growing your YouTube channel, I put together a YouTube growth secrets community where I share everything that I learned from scaling multiple channels, even getting 23 million plus views and over 100,000 subscribers. Inside you guys will find templates, advanced courses, and even live calls to help you guys do the same. All the transformational stories that came out of that community is just insane. It's only five bucks to join. The link will be in the description down below. Now let's refine it just a bit. Go back into JetGBT and ask it to make this sequence take place at nighttime. Copy the new prompt and paste it back into Flow. And after a few seconds, you'll see it did a great job. It finally orbited around the city like we wanted, which is something it didn't even do in the previous generation. And that's just how these prompts in AI work. Sometimes they listen perfectly and sometimes they just don't. This version looks really good, but notice how the city still looks kind of like it's sitting on top of the map. I want it to pop out from the actual map. So let's go back into ChatGPT and ask it to make the city rise or pop out from the surface. Copy that updated prompt and paste it back into Flow. And just like that, it created this really cool effect. But the new problem is that it's not exactly where New York is located but the effect itself is awesome. This was actually one of my favorites because I love how the city lifts up even though New York isn't in Texas. Let's go back one more time and ask ChatGPT to be specific and where New York should appear on the map. And again, it wasn't super precise. I'll probably have to run it a few more times, but I like what it did there. It looks like the city is just ripping through the paper, which is such a cool effect. You guys could do the same thing with multiple cities. Just use the base prompt I've linked in the description down below and just swap out the city's name. And by the way, if you want to download your render, you could just upscale it to 1080p and use it directly in your videos. But if you guys want to learn how to create more than just these map transitions, like focusing on characters and storytelling, I went way more in depth and broke it down step by step. You could watch that by clicking right here.